Hello everyone. Today's video is all about continuity. So friends, we are going to see how to find out if a given function is continuous or not. So we'll understand all the steps in a very easy way. So let's start. First of all, what do you mean by the word continuous? Well, continuous means something which does not have any break or interruption, right? So in the same way, a function is also said to be continuous if we can draw its graph without any breaks or interruption. So for example, you must have all come across the function f of x equal to x. It's the identity function. Now if I draw the graph of that function, friends, you will see that it will be a straight line passing through the origin. So just observe, as I'm drawing the graph of this function, I am able to draw it without lifting the chalk from the board. Did you notice that? And also look at the graph. There is no break. There is no interruption at all. It's continuous. See? So by looking at this graph, I can clearly say that this function is continuous everywhere. There is no break or interruption. Now friends, let's see another function. You must have come across this function too. It's the greatest integer function. Now, it's also called the step function and that's because you will see a series of nice steps over here, friends, see, like this, see. This is how the function uh, will look like, okay, like this. This goes on. Now, friends, did you see that in this line, there is no break or interruption, but here there is a big break. Again, in this line, it is continuous. Then again, there is a break. Again, there is continuity. And this goes on like this. So there are some areas, some regions where the graph is continuous. But there are also some regions where there are big breaks or interruptions. So by looking at the graph, you can say that whether the function is continuous, where it is continuous, where it is discontinuous, right? But if I give you a function like this, suppose f of x equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 or some other complicated log function or say trigonometric or a big polynomial function. It will be time consuming to plot the graph and then check if it's continuous, right? It is of course possible, but it will be time consuming. So we have another method, a numerical method using which also we can find out if the given function is continuous at any given point, okay? So friends, there are three conditions which need to be satisfied for a function to be continuous. So if f of x is the function and you want to check if it is continuous, you want to check if it is continuous at a point x equal to a. Now this point x equal to a is friends defined on the domain. So no need to worry about that. So to check if f of x is continuous at x equal to a point, the three conditions are, first condition is that f of a should be defined. This is very, very important and it's very basic also, right? So if at the point x equal to a, the function f of x is itself not defined, what is the point in proceeding further? You can straight away say that the function f of x is not continuous at x equal to a, right? So this condition has to be satisfied. Now, if f of a is defined, then we go to the next condition. The second condition is that limit of f of x as x tends to a should also be defined, friends, and it should also exist. So friends, you must have all learned about limits in the limits chapter. So what do you mean by limit f of x as x tends to a? So this means, suppose I'm taking the same function uh, f of x equal to x, the same identity function, and this is x is equal to a. So as we approach the point x equal to a, now you can approach x equal to a from the left hand side, or from the right hand side. You can approach it from both the sides. As you approach x equal to a from both the sides, the value of the function should exist. Now it means that the left hand limit of the function should be equal to the right hand limit of the function. 
So as x approaches from the left side, the value of the function should be the same as the value of the function when it approaches x from the left. Now, if they both are not equal, that means the limit of the function does not exist at all. There is no point in continuing. You can directly say that the function is not continuous at x equal to a because the limit itself doesn't exist, right? However, if the second condition is satisfied, we go to the third condition. Friends, actually the third condition is the easiest. You don't have any calculation as such. You just have to check that the values that you got in the first condition and the second condition are matching. That is, you need to check that f of a is equal to limit f of x as x tends to a. Now, what is the significance of this? Now, this means that as you approach x equal to a, the value of the function should be the same as the function's value at x equal to a. That means near the neighborhood of x equal to a friends, in this region where x is very close to a but it is not equal to a, the value of f of x should be the same as f of a. So this condition ensures that there is no break or interruption. There is complete continuity. So if f of a is equal to limit of the function as x tends to a, then all the three conditions are satisfied and the function f of x is said to be continuous at x equal to a. Now, if suppose the third condition is not satisfied, that is the values are not matching, again, you'll have to stop and say that the function f of x is not continuous at x equal to a. So friends, these are the three conditions that have to be satisfied. And with this, we also come to the formal definition of continuity of a function. So a function f of x is said to be continuous at a point x equal to a if the value of the function at x equal to a is the same as the limit of the function as x tends to a. So friends, this is the very, very important definition of a continuous function. So friends, in the next video, we will be solving two very interesting examples that discuss the continuity of functions. So make sure to watch that video. And if you found this video useful, do like and share the video. Do consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.